Clevenger. I am 16 years old and this is my ninth year as an Achievers for H Club member in the Northwest Missouri town of Hamilton. My name is Bailey Pickering. I am 15 years old and my sixth year 4-H, also part of the Achievers 4-H Club. We both go to Penny High School. We both love 4-H and the color green, so this year we decided to make an international 4-H dish for our demonstration. Wait a second. I thought we were making an international food dish. That would mean a food from another country. 4-H isn't a country. You silly girl, just think about it. Since 4-H uses the clover symbol and the color green, but not also symbolizes Ireland, it only makes sense that an international 4-H dish would come from Ireland. Okay, from now on, you are Meredith Matt Clevenger and I am Bailey O. Pickering, two Irish girls. And you know, there are only two kinds of people in the world, the Irish and those who wish they were. <laughs> Top of the morning to you. We do have the perfect entree to represent Ireland, Irish boxy potatoes. To make Irish boxy potatoes, you need the following ingredients. One and a half cups grated raw potatoes. One cup all-purpose flour. One cup leftover mashed potatoes. One egg. One tablespoon of skim milk. Salt and pepper to taste. And a fourth a cup of olive oil. We first toss the grated potatoes with flour in a large bowl. Then stir the mashed potatoes until combined. Do you know who St. Patrick is, Miss McClevenger? Isn't he the fellow that drove the snakes out of Ireland? Well, historians think that story is symbolic of St. Patrick converting people to Christianity. St. Patrick is the patron saint of Ireland, but he is actually British. He was taken captive and was slain for nearly six years before he escaped and returned back to Britain. If he was a British citizen, then how was he known as the patron saint of Ireland? After he went back to Britain, an angel in a dream told him to return to Ireland to minister to the people there. After he became a priest, he returned to Ireland as a missionary. And that is when he drove out the snakes. Well, scholars think the snakes are a metaphor for the pagan religion that was predominant in Ireland before he did his missionary work. You know, he drove out the evil spirits. Very interesting. I have the ingredients well combined now. What's next? In a separate bowl, whisk together the egg and skim milk. An Irish tablespoon is the same quantity as an American tablespoon plus a teaspoon. Therefore, there is just a little bit more milk than one tablespoon. <coughs> then, mix that into the potatoes. <coughs> so, and season to taste with salt and pepper. So, do you think Ireland would be a fun place to visit? I think it would be the best. You and I would love exploring haunted castles. Did you know the story of the world-famous vampire, Count Dracula, was written in 1897 by Bram Stoker from Dublin. His real-life inspiration for his character was a friend of his. Um, I'll be behind you on that tour. Way back behind you. Dracula is said to have been inspired by early Irish legends. And you know what he did? Enough, enough of that. Let's talk about the weather. Okay. Ireland's climate is influenced mostly by the Atlantic Ocean, so it doesn't have extreme temperatures that other countries of similar latitudes do. The average temperature is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Speaking of temperatures, we have heated the olive oil in this electric skillet over medium-high heat. Miss O'Pickering, you are now ready to drop in the potato mixture, forming patties about two inches in diameter. I will now place the boxes on the skillet. It doesn't matter that they are in irregular shape, but if you prefer that they be round, you could use a cookie scoop and a glass to press them down to a flat circle. I'll just place four on the skillet for right now. Now, let's tell them the best part of this recipe. Boxy is a traditional Irish dish, and there's a little rhyme that goes, you may have the honors, Miss O'Pickery. Boxy on the griddle, boxy on the pan. If you can't make boxy, you'll never get a man. <laughs> there you go. A very important reason for this little Irish 4-H demonstration. These boxies need to fry on both sides until golden brown, around three to four minutes per side. While they're cooking, you might like to know that the three most famous symbols of Ireland are the green shamrock, the heart, and the Celtic cross. Whoops, Miss O'Pickering. This is kind of embarrassing, but you made your shamrock wrong. This is a 4-H event, and everyone will notice it is supposed to have four leaflets. Well, I printed out pictures based on the research I did in Ireland. And you're not going to like this, but I think we have a problem of our correlation of Ireland 4-H. Oh no, say it isn't so, Miss O'Pickering. Well, based on what I read, the shamrock is not the same thing as the four-leaf clover. They are both commonly mistaken because they are symbols used in Ireland. But the four-leaf clover is actually a symbol of good luck. 
The three-leaf clover has taken on such significance in Ireland because it is said to represent the Holy Trinity in the church. So I guess you are saying the leprechaun was not the founder of the 4-H program? That's a threat. I'm afraid that is correct. Actually, there is no one person considered to be the founder of 4-H. Several Americans are credited with making 4-H happen beginning in 1902. That's over 110 years ago. My Irish eyes are crying over this unfortunate misunderstanding. But according to George Bernard Shaw, an Irish playwriter, a life making mistakes is not only more honorable, but more useful than a life spent doing nothing at all. Did you learn anything else about Ireland that I should know? I did, and don't worry, I won't be slagging you about this for too much longer. Slagging? What are you talking about? <coughs> it's often said that the national pastime of Ireland is slagging. Ribbing, messing, taking the mix. The Irish are crafty and love to give a little bit of mischief. Like the leprechaun. <coughs> exactly. Irish mythology has long told the story of the leprechaun. Leprechauns are usually in the form of an old man, and they love to create a little bit of trouble. As legend goes, leprechauns are very rich with treasure, and they are craftsmen that can create things. If the leprechaun is caught, he must be truthful in telling you where his fortune is. Do you know anything else about Ireland? Indeed, I do, Lassie. I also learned that Ireland is comparable in size to the state of Indiana. I thought I remembered from my geography class that Ireland is actually an island. Is that correct? Yes, it is an island in the Atlantic Ocean just west of Great Britain. You are a wealth of knowledge, Miss O'Pickering. You know a wee bit more than I thought you did, and I'm glad we learned how to make boxies. Our boxies are now ready to be turned over. I will press them just a little bit flatter so they will finish cooking for a demonstration. They are a beautiful color. Kind of reminds me of a pot of gold. They're grand, and an easy dish to make too, Miss McClevenger. Although it is an Irish dish, Americans love potatoes with their meals. My dad doesn't feel like he's had a good meal unless he has meat and potatoes in it. It is a good way to learn how to prepare potatoes, and also a good way to learn how to prepare leftover mashed potatoes so we are not wasteful. Yes, and we could add garlic, salt, or cheese to Americanize them as well. Some boxy recipes are more like a pancake, made with more milk and then some baking soda. And remember, boxy on the griddle, boxy on the pan. If you can't make boxy, you'll never get a man. Well said. To summarize, to make boxies, you need these ingredients. First, toss the grated potatoes with flour in a large bowl. Then stir in mashed potatoes until combined. In a separate bowl, whisk together the egg and skim milk. Then stir that into the potatoes and season to taste with salt and pepper. Heat olive oil in a skillet over a medium-high heat, then drop in potato mixture, forming patties about two inches in diameter. Let them fry on both sides until golden brown, around three to four minutes per side. Then, when they are done, set them on a paper towel to absorb the excess grease. Boxies are a significant source of carbohydrates and have vitamin C and around four grams of protein. They also have 220 calories per serving. Are there any questions? Do you know what the nutritional value of this is? Well, um, potatoes are pretty starchy, but um, every food kind of has its ups and downs, but I'm sure that it um, can provide a lot of things that you will need throughout the day. You're very entertaining. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> if there are no further questions, thank you. And may the luck of the Irish be with you.